G'day folks, Modman here and welcome back to the workshop. Today's episode, uh, I'm going to turn one of these products here into a screen out tool like this. Um, it's very simple, very easy and anyone can do it. So uh, now if you don't want to make your own, you can buy a screen out tool ready made. It actually works really, really well. But however, you know how I like to make things um, and modify things, so that's exactly what I've done. But if you want to just get one straight off the shelf, there you go there. I'll try and put a link to this in the comments below, so have a look for that. Alright, so let's get into it. Okay, the very first thing I'm going to do here is just cut that point off, because I want it to be square. You don't cut it all the way back because then this part becomes a, a tad too short. But you do want to just cut it so it's straight. With the end cut off, now just simply and easily straighten these out. They're not, it's not um, super, super strong, so very easy to straighten out. Next, we'll get on to making this curve. Okay, so choose your height that you want to come up. I'm going to be coming up approximately 35 millimeters to the first kink which I'll kink out and then we'll take a 12 millimeter radius tubing here to curve this around to get your, your, your radius roughly 12 millimeters. Folks, that is how easy it is to make your own screen out tool. Alright, so uh, like I said before, if you want to buy one already made, there's one right there. Works a treat. It's got the angle and everything in it. And um, that'll be perfect. Go and have a look for that. Um, now stay tuned and I'll show you some examples on how I use this and this together to get a majority of screens out. Let's get into it. So this fly screen here is a good example of needing some fly screen tools um, in order to make it easier to get this out. The problem here is the fly screen itself is turned backwards. So you've got the spline on the outside. This finger puller is on the inside. Uh, so this here is too hard to get finger in or anything in there. So this is a good example for using fly screen tools. What I'll start off using here is this fella right here. This is one I made myself. Twisted up the end so it can be used as a fly screen puller, but also as a shimmy tool here as well. This is extremely thin, so I can get that into this little spot here and manipulate it so it pulls it over enough to open up this gap. That is where I then use this fella here. This is called the screen out tool. This is from Herman. You can get this at many places. This has the already built in. This is already built. So if you don't want to make your own like this, grab yourself one of these tools. Uh, what happens here is now I can slide this in to that gap. Like that. I can then take this away, turn this around, and that now becomes, this now pulls that screen out and I can then pop it out as per usual. Right now, putting the screen back in, as you can see here, it's quite tight, it hits there. It's okay as you go up towards the top, but as you come to the bottom, it's tight there. It's pushed up as far as it'll go this side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this tool here, the shimmy tool again on the other side of the screen out tool. I'm going to put that in where I can get it. And I'm going to shimmy that down to the bottom to where it's tight and literally hold it in there like that. Now I'm going to push on this part here and shimmy it in. So as I'm putting pressure on this, all I'm going to do is wiggle this and that will 
slide over this stainless steel so nothing gets scratched it's very smooth very thin that just pops straight in that literally gets pulled straight out pushed back in and down and we're going to talk about as an internal fly screen but if you'll notice on here it has these little plastic clips here now these you can push these however they get brittle and stiff uh the minute you push that it breaks once they're broken the screen it's useless the screen just falls out and flops about um you need to get the top out first because you need to lift the the screen over this lump here. Another poor um, design, window design. These are a terrible window design clip. Um, so now they normally sit out on the edges here, like one there and one on there. The best thing to do is to nudge them over. These are loose because I've done these before. Um, but if they're tight, just tap them with your screwdriver. Tap them to the middle. Because what we need to do here is rather than push that plastic in, we're gonna bend or bow this fly screen section there. So the best way to do that is to use a screwdriver. Now, if you're gonna use a flat, if you're gonna use a straight screwdriver, the problem you're gonna have here is to get it in and be able to lever, lever this down. It's, you just, it's just not gonna work. You're gonna hit that. The, a straight screwdriver is absolutely useless. Come, come forward the bent screwdriver. I use this for many things, including getting in here like this, and now I can use this as a leverage tool. Can you see that? It's nowhere near that section there, yet it is pulling the frame down just enough to pop it over those clips. Some fly screens have clips like this. Uh, so this part of the screen out tool can also be used a shimmy tool again to be slid in there, pull that clip across like so, and then the screen can be then pulled out like that. These screens here have little spring clips, four of them, one in each corner, and they need to be basically maneuvered out like this, and then you can pull them out. So, got a combination of the very thin shimmy tool and the screen out tool from Herman. So a combination of these two will get that out. So the shimmy tool is holding the spring away and Herman's screen out tool is going to help pull it from the, from the thing. So I'll just show you that spring clip there. There it is there. So what this has to do is get in there and hold that flat so that the screen can then be pulled out. Same when you're putting it back in, basically shimmy this shut and shimmy the uh, the screen back into place. But we also have these dumbass clips as well. Now, you can use this part of the tool to try and pull it out, but it pulls the clip at the same time. So what you really need to do is use this end to get in behind that clip like that and basically bend it away then use your screen out tool and pull it out here's another type of screen here now these here have a little knob in there like that now you can try and pull the tab here but because they're quite tight um, you can you'll end up pulling the, the tab off before you pull the actual screen out so this is another screen that needs a screen tool So we need to use the leverage tool to get in there so we can open it up enough to get the screen out tool into there like that, in behind and then between the leverage tool and the shimmy tool that will be pulled out beautifully. So when putting this back in, as you can see that nylon nib there hits so what uh, the shimmy tool also is great for is that can sit in behind that nylon nib and all you do is shimmy that back in. It rides over the nylon, it rides over the stainless steel shimmy tool and then you pull that back out. No damage done, screens back in nicely.